I'm here with Coach Terrell from Charleston Southern Buccaneers. Um, head coach, can you please tell us about how the loss from coming from USC upstate and now coming back in, having such a great win and scoring in the last minute? Um, you know, obviously it's difficult to win. We, you know, all the games we've been in this year have been really tight. Uh, and so when you lose in overtime, it's pretty just so to come back from that so quickly. Uh, I'm super excited about what, what, how the goals rebounded. Um, I think that, uh, you know, we're still in that area where we need to work on being able to put the game away early. I think we probably could have uh, upstate. We had a couple of opportunities. And I don't know that we had the same thing at Asheville. I think Asheville plays really organized defensively. Uh, but in, in the end, we need to finish off, be maybe a little more aggressive to finish off our opportunities. I definitely can see that judging, uh, watching this game and waiting for the 88th minute to score and put one in the back of the net and going into uh, continuous overtimes. Can you tell me how uh, how that affects your team? Continue like just waiting last second to uh, you know finish those opportunities. Um, you know, I, I think you know obviously you don't want to go in overtime. That kind of wears you out, mm -hmm. and we have been in, in a lot of in overtime periods. But it's just given us more and more experience. Mm -hmm. And again, we're focused on really trying to finish, trying to trying to do better in finishing and finishing earlier in the game and things like that. But it's it's a process. We've got a lot of young kids playing in the town. Mm -hmm. And now you guys are doing very well in the Big South standings. So uh, for your goal, what would you say that would be? Well, I mean, obviously for our goal with the team, every year and since since we had uh, since we started the eight teams go to the tournament, we want to host, uh, you know, the final the final eight. That's uh, really what we want to do. So, I mean, that's our goal. We want to have our the first round game here at our place. Uh, and so, I'm hoping that uh, the girls continue to do well. So we can host. We've got a lot of seniors, and their their final game or their first tournament game. Uh, I would love to, to have it here at our place. And lastly, the freshman for uh, Coach Drell playing here obviously stepped up and had um, a huge impact on the field. Can you talk about that lastly? Um, you know, that's the way it's kind of really been all season long. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have, we've had developed a really good defense over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like we've been really good, uh, organized. We've got some senior leadership back there. So really, in our recruiting process, it was really trying to get the, 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 the new coming players to come and step in and get it done. And, uh, you know, we've really uh, felt like we, we, we started to work on that. But it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a work in progress. Because it's a freshman year, uh, you know, it's a... Uh, yeah, well, there, yeah. there's a, like... Four more years, so yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, it's a process, and hopefully, that's a, a really great sign for the Charleston so, Buccaneers. Yeah. And um, there you have it—a one-one nothing win for the Charleston Southern soccer team. And here's Coach Trell.